Oh boy, I tell you what, I was listening to some soundtracks from Conan the Barbarian. I don't know if some of you remember that movie. You probably did. It was a cult classic and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? And I understand they're going to make another Conan coming out. Will it be coming out this year? I'm not sure. Anyone can leave a comment on me and correct me on that one. But, you know, and I always did. When I, when I saw the ending of the second one, I was like, Yay! They're going to make another Conan because at the end of the movie it says he was living. You know, and, and I saw that movie at the drive-in theater when they still had drive-in theaters where I live. Um, and I was like, dang, man. You know, Conan was one of those... Characters I, uh, I like, and I don't know if everyone else caught on to it. You know what I mean? I was like, uh, everyone would like mock him, like say, Conan, what is best in life? And he go, crush your enemies, have them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of the women. You know, like that kind of stuff, you know? And I'd remember something like that. But when it comes down to it, I'd be like, man, I can't wait to make Conan and stuff. And... And then, you know, years went by, and a decade goes by, and then another decade goes by, and then I'm like, ooh, I'm in a comic book store, because, you know, I like to do artwork, and I was setting up on doing comic books and stuff. So, um, I was up there, and I was like, wow, I love comic book, com uh, comic book, uh, Conan the Barber and Comics. You know, and I bought them. Um, I bought a first issue, second issue, third issue, you know. And you know what? Believe it or not, when I grew up as a kid, I never had a collection of anything. But what's really weird is when I got into my mid-20s or early 20s, I started to. So, uh, yeah, Tomb Raider was amongst one of them, just for anyone else to know. that's a, that's a that, that would be for a... Trivial Pursuit question right there. If anyone ever, uh, I'm somehow ever famous for something. Um, yeah. In my own, I am my own legend. You know. Uh, so. They did that and then they stopped making the comics for them. And I was like, have you ever, no ever noticed that's something you really like? And it's like one of those things that's kind of, you like, but not a lot of people like. And they just don't. They just don't make them anymore. It's like you start loving something, they just take it that way from you, like bam. And it, whether it's a it's a song you like, a band, or anything, a piece of tool or something, they just stop making it. And or a car model of a car. And I mean, the Camaro came and it went. It came back again, you know. And I always thought that was kind of a cool car, you know. But uh, I looked up and I was like looking up films, you know, I was trying to see the evolution of films on Wikipedia. And I started back in the 1880s and stuff and worked my way up, you know, because I was like, well, you know, I'm already living in the present. So, I want to, I came across, I was like, oh, Conan. Ooh. I was like, ooh, ooh. And I was like, seeing all the things behind it and who they're trying to get to play the part of Conan. Now I'm dyslexic, so give me a moment. I know, you know, because like I said, when college I was taking a comic book illustration and 3D animation. Okay. Because I always wanted to do this since I was a kid. I wanted to do cartoons. I wanted to do comics. You know. And, um, or at least an illustration of anatomy parts and so forth, like Grey's Anatomy, that kind of stuff. Um, but actually more cool to create stories and fantasy, because that's just more fun. <laughs> you can make your own world. Um, I digress, I'm sorry. Um, so... Ah, where was I? Come on, get the little train working. Get the little train working. Where was you? 
Hey, did I mention I had ADD? ADHD. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, multiple other slew of things got going on for me. Uh, so, look. Um, come on, Shane. Work it, work it, work it, work it. What was I thinking of? Conan. Okay. Uh, um, I was thrilled, and I and I and well, that's right, that's right. Uh, Ron E. Howard. He was a guy. He was he born in Texas. He died in Texas. He, he was actually he was about my age when he died, and he shot himself after his mom. This the day he thought his mom was dying, he went in a glove compartment of a car and he took out a pistol and shot himself. But he was a uh, he was in he was a sort of like a survivalist of the streets and of Texas. I don't want to say what uh, town the name is. Begins with letter B, I thought. Oh well, um, you know he grew up where there was fist fights going on. You know kids got together, they did their gang thing. You know or beatings and stuff like that, and. Yeah. Had a, had a somewhat of a thuggish, I guess, way of growing up. Um, but he lifted weights, and there's another guy lifted weights and stuff, and that's what kind of shaped and molded his idea for Conan the Barbarian, you know. Um, and what's really cool was what got me was well, I identify with Robert, Rob, Robert, e. God, I hope I'm saying the guy's name right, Robert E. Howard. Uh, is he draw these maps um, of the fantasy world he lived in? Uh, like there was one called the Hyborian Age, and you know when I was a kid growing up and stuff like that, I would do that because I was like really totally into maps and atlases and drawings and stuff like that. Drawing like you know I'd be sitting there drawing <laughs> like the continent of Europe and and. Africa and all that stuff, but I'd sit there and start making my own fantasy place. But I'd name them stuff like Twizzler Land and Chocolateville and crap like that. But you know, but yeah, I was really psyched about that Conan coming out. Um, I, I still gotta see Avatar. I hear everyone's talking about it like, like, oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good movie. Yeah, you gotta go see that, yeah. you know. But uh, um. I guess I'll have to check it out. You know, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if I go see the movie theater, I may have a chance to see it in 3D. Uh, I don't know when the last time I saw a 3D movie was. It's probably that movie Parasite. You know, I don't know. How did they let me in at that age to see that movie Parasite? I don't know. Maybe the age guideline people were a lot more slack back then, I guess. I don't know. Is that, by the way, that movie was... Demi Moore was in that movie, Parasite. I saw that one, and I was really young, and my, my sister had a thing for macabre kind of stuff, and and I don't know, I went to the movie theater with her and her friend, and man, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> I was real scared to look up at the ceiling, and look up, and this would be some kind of parasite coming down and it'd get in my face and explode <laughs> like that. At least that's how I remember it. Um, I'm remembering one scene over and over again from my life when I was younger. Um, oh yeah, I'm just glad to share that with you. About a little tidbit of what I like. Um, and maybe you like it too. Let me know. Uh, if you like this video, why don't you give it a five fingers, you know? And, uh, well, wait a minute. Actually, give it four fingers and one thumb, which will equal five digits, okay? Give me five digits. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Hey, have a great day. Uh, I guess that depends on where you live. Have a great morning, day, night, whatever.